Hi, and welcome to Mormon Facts. The Hill Cumorah is a glacial drumlin located in Manchester, New York, and is significant to the history of the LDS faith. It is the location where Joseph Smith claimed to have recovered the golden plates, as well as the place where the Jaredite and Nephite civilizations battled and were ultimately destroyed in the Book of Mormon. In October of 1990, Michael Watson, the secretary to the First Presidency, responded to an inquiry by saying, the church has long maintained, as attested to by references in the writings of general authorities, that the Hill Cumorah in western New York state is the same as referenced in the Book of Mormon. Early church members, as well as many modern apostles and prophets, have stated the same. However, despite these claims, we would be remiss as to not mention the two Hill Cumorah theory, in which many LDS church apologists claim there is a second Hill Cumorah in Mexico or Central America. Because of the highly speculative nature of such a claim, and the overwhelming evidence to the contrary, this video will assume that the Hill Cumorah in New York is the same found in the Book of Mormon, as stated by the Secretary of the First Presidency. You can also review additional citations for this claim in the comments below. Hills like the Hill Cumorah are referred to as glacial drumlins as they were produced in vast quantity during the end of the last ice age. Many drumlins in New York do not have names assigned to them, but for more information as to the potential origin of the name Cumorah, you can watch our other video about the geographic locations of the Book of Mormon. Because there are so many drumlins throughout the east side of the United States, they became a focal point for fascination by local residents. Many believed them to be ancient burial mounds from civilizations long ago. While growing up in Vermont, Joseph's father was one such person, and often searched for buried treasure from both ancient Native Americans as well as pirate treasure from the infamous Captain Kidd. At a young age, Joseph Smith was actively involved with a group of treasure seekers that believed that there was much ancient gold and silver buried throughout the area of New York and Pennsylvania. It was in this context that Joseph Smith began taking nocturnal excursions with fellow treasure hunters to a nearby hill, later called the Hill Cumorah. One Palmyra resident recounted, Legends of hidden treasure had long designated Mormon Hill as the depository. Joseph had accompanied his father in the midnight delvings and incantations of the spirits that guarded it. During one such excursion, Joseph Smith and his father claimed to have discovered a chest three by two feet in size covered with dark colored stone. The large stone then exploded with a terrible noise. The chest vanished and all was utter darkness. It is during this time that many Palmyra residents gave accounts strengthening the claim that Joseph was famous for visionary projects and legends of hidden treasure. During this time, many treasure seekers believed that powerful spirits guarded large deposits of treasure. When Joseph was 17 years old, he made a fantastic claim. He said that he had been visited by an angel of God in his bedroom, and the angel told him about buried golden plates nearby in the Hill Cumorah. Four years passed, and in 1827, Joseph said that he went to the Hill Cumorah, where he opened a stone box and found golden plates within. When Joseph returned, many in the community knew that Joseph claimed to have golden plates in his possession. Next to the Smith family farm lived a man named Lorenzo Sanders, who recounted his experience of visiting the Hill Cumorah the very next day after Joseph claimed to have retrieved the golden plates. I went on the next Sunday following with five or six other ones, and we hunted the hillside by course, and could not find no place where the ground had been broken. There was a large hole where the money diggers had dug a year or two before, but no fresh dirt. There are many citations and sources as to events and stories that took place at the Hill Cumorah during this time, and it is difficult to sift through the contradictions. The following are a few interesting stories found in historical records. Martin Harris claimed to have gone to the Hill Cumorah after Joseph had received the golden plates in search of more buried treasure. He recounts a story where he was digging and found a different stone box than the one Joseph claimed to have found. We got quite excited about it and dug quite carefully around it, and we were ready to take it up, but behold, by some unseen power, it slipped back into the hill. According to Brigham Young, Joseph Smith entered the Hill Cumorah several times to see the library of plates contained in caves inside. In 1829, Hiram Smith, Oliver Cowdery, and Joseph Smith claimed to have visited the hill. As they were walking up the hill, a door opened. The hill opened, and they walked into a cave in which there was a large and spacious room. They laid the plates on a table. It was a large table that stood in the room. Under this table, there was a pile of plates as much as two feet high, and there were altogether in this room more plates than probably many wagon loads. They were piled up in the corners and along the walls. Hiram Smith said that they were met by an angel whom Young calls a messenger who was the keeper of the room. In 1829, David Whitmer declared that he, Oliver Cowdery, and Joseph Smith observed one of the Nephites carrying the records in a knapsack on his way to Cumorah. There are countless more unique stories from individuals and their experiences with the Hill Cumorah, but maybe the most amazing claim made concerning the hill are the stories told in the Book of Mormon. 
The Hill Cumorah plays a very prominent role for two decisive battles as they are said to have taken place at the base of the hill. The Book of Mormon identifies the Hill Cumorah as the location for the final destruction of the Nephite civilization where it is said 230,000 people died, as well as the destruction of the Jaredite nation which is said to have caused 2 million casualties. Ether 15.2 reads, He saw that there had been slain by the sword already nearly 2 million of his people, and he began to sorrow in his heart, yea, there had been slain 2 million of mighty men and also their wives and their children. Despite such a tremendous story told in the Book of Mormon, no archaeological evidence supporting such enormous battles has currently been found either on or surrounding the Hill Cumorah. Today the Hill Cumorah is owned by the LDS Church with a visitor center built at the base of the hill. Mounted on a 25-foot shaft stands a 10-foot bronze figure of Moroni. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel to be updated with more videos from Mormon Facts.